We're gonna represent a group called Children of the City right in our hometown of Brooklyn, New York. What they do is they reach out to the community, they do after school programs and summer programs to increase children's opportunity to get into higher education. We are representing Dizzy Feet Foundation. They're a foundation to help kids from all over um, get scholarships and community organizations for dance. So that's dance schools and dance programs to get kids who don't have the opportunity to learn dance styles both street styles and also traditional styles. Uh, our cause is for the Dance Institute of Arts and Music in Union, New Jersey. We're trying to get more instruments to instrument players. Um, there's a lot lacking, so schools are taking away a lot of arts projects, so we're trying to bring art, whether it's music, dance, and uh, graffiti to there, so that's what we're trying to battle for. The foundation we're battling for today is a foundation I created myself called the EDGE Project. Uh, we raise scholarships for children to in interact in workshops, um, to get shoes just to dance. A lot of children don't even have simple, you know, utilities they need for class, and that's why we try providing for them for dance. Share our knowledge, share our philosophy, share pass down our tradition that we've been passed down since 1979. Um, we have a lot of secrets, but a lot of things we wanted to give to the world because back then it wasn't about you had to do it a certain way. There was different crews that represented different styles. There were so many different crews and they had their own ways. And, they, and that's still going on today. You know, it's like dojos, you know, they have their different techniques. And different philosophies. This, we're teaching you our philosophy. We're not saying this is the only way. We're just sharing with you what we what we have done in our experience. Being wants to be is three things. People like to live it. People that prefer the social aspect of it, they want you to always break like this and uh, that beat not. That's an aspect of being one. The foundation, the fundamentals. You know, the past, the culture. That's good. So, you know, we gotta preserve that. And then, the artistry of it. Sometimes people think that the artist of b one that's not b one because he's not doing it fundamentally. But that's a part of it. We want to be individuals. We want to express yourself. And then, you have the athleticism of it. The power moves, the acro, the big competitions. Be your own art. But, yeah, but, dude, it's all of it. Embrace it all. Be yourself. Create from it. Who cares what they think? You know what I'm saying? It's all of it. Be one is bigger than that. The workshops itself, they they really they really just get us moving, just get us get us to understand how to be creative, how how to move our bodies, how to understand every motion from going here to there. Uh, a lot of form is involved, and a lot of just just being ourselves. And yeah. It's really helpful. I really like them. It's it's really about like the foundation, which. I practice by myself, which I kind of lack. No one really does like them been teaching me. So this really helped me a lot. One, two, three, two. 
say thank you for coming, being a part of our Dynamic Rockets Academy. I hope you guys had fun the whole weekend. It meant a lot of, it meant a lot to us that you guys came to learn from us, learn our you know traditions that have been passed down, plus each member's traditions and philosophies, you know, and just spread the word. We're, we're gonna keep doing this, and we appreciate you guys coming. Thank you.